Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Partly cloudy out here this morning. Very still. About 80 degrees, looking at a high of 91, but with the heat index, it's I feel like it's gonna be about 100 out here today. Still gorgeous out here. See some seagulls and pelicans flying around out there, diving into the water. It is high tide right now. High tide is of, as of right now. See the waves, they're breaking out on the sandbar out there. All those waves, that's where the sandbar is. Walk, walk down to the water. We won't be able to get out on the sandbar, obviously. So I was talking to the ranger at the front gate this morning. And we have, officially, we have 51 loggerhead sea turtle nests on the beach. 51 nests. And we have had four hatchings so far, four emergings. And they're going to start popping out of those nests now, almost on a regular basis. A little on the rough side here this morning. I'm not expecting to find very much in the way of seashells this morning, being that it's high tide. But we'll take a walk up the beach, maybe walk up to Wiggins Pass, see how things look. I haven't been up that way at high tide here in a little while. Hopefully we'll be able to get around the trees. Boy, that water is warm. 86 degrees, maybe it's even warmed up a, a degree. Pretty churned up this morning with these waves. You can still see the bottom, but it's kind of hard. You look close, you can see the bottom down there. See Roy making his way down the beach up here. But I won't be walking out on the sandbars. You can see they're underwater out there now where those waves are breaking. Quite a couple pelicans out here diving into the water. Doing their pelican thing. really seeing anything shell wise down here a lot of old shells again we're right at high tide now this is high tide for this morning 732 is when high tide is, was. There's one of 
our little snowy egrets out fishing for its breakfast. Good morning, that's a little one. That's a young one there. It's amazing that they can see fish swimming around in those waves like that. That's a little, that's a very young little snowy white there. There goes another one flying by. There's Roy walking down the beach. What's up, Roy? Yeah, good to see you, man. How are you doing? Wonderful, just wonderful. Never anything, better. Anything going on up there? No, same old deal. Same old deal, ain't fisherman? Yeah, yeah. Mike? See Mike uh, no, I didn't see Mike. Uh, How's everything going for you? Missed you yesterday. Yeah, good, good. How about what'd you do yesterday? Oh, about the same as today. <laughs> take my law, take some big channel swims, and chat with people, and get some hugs from some beautiful ladies. And nice. That's about it. Looks like we got a little more water out here in front of us this morning. Yeah, yeah, high tide. That's nice. We're right yeah. at high tide now. Nice day, sun out. Hopefully the breeze come up and cool off a little bit. Yeah. It's pretty darn hot now. Yeah, keep the bugs away. We need that I, breeze. I think I'm going for a swim. It's so hot. So have you gotten any hugs yet this morning? No, no. I was kind of late this morning. I uh, did a lot of office work first. I'm, uh, I'm applying for my, well, I've been applying for years and years and years for a, a pension from the VA for my military service in the Navy, World War II and Korean War. So I got a file about uh, this thick uh, the applications and, uh, and what's the testimonials. And, well, they always want more more data and then it's just den denied for various reasons and I reapply and it's been quite a uh, operation and I just got word back yesterday that they uh, need more data and documentation. So I'm uh, attempting to provide that. I have to get testimonials. Well, we need testimonials from Jesus the Christ and you know some other <laughs> some other dignitaries. So how once, long were you in the service? Once I acquire these testimonials, maybe uh, things will fall in a line another couple of years. There you maybe go. five or ten years. How, Hopefully, how, I'll get my first. How long payment. were you in the service? Well, I was in about four or five years in WW2 and about two years in the Korean War. So I was uh, in long enough. I don't understand why it's so difficult. All you should have to show is your discharge papers, and that's it. Well, they analyze your income and your net worth, and, uh, you know. And, oh, uh, see, now that you're a famous writer, that's probably screwing no, things no. up. No, <laughs> they analyze everything, you know. To see what you're worth. Yeah. yeah. You know, oh, that's the horrible. The amount that you walk every day, the distance you swim, all these very important, <laughs> very important uh, How facts. much vitamin C you take. Yeah, exactly. Your diet. That's where you're probably blowing it. It's all that vitamin C. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I've told them I intend to live forever. Maybe that's a deterrent towards their... Of course. Their, yeah, I shouldn't have mentioned that. <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. Were you but able to get? All, were you able? They're all to... honest, uh, straightforward people, and they're all doing their best. And yeah. They're performing according to the laws of the land. There you so go. So we want any. Uh... So nothing will ever get done. <laughs> well, eventually. Yeah. So it's the laws of the land which uh, that determine just about everything, unless you're going to be a criminal and violate them. But that's that doesn't work out too well. There you go. I'm going to walk up the end. Can you get through up there? Is there enough room to squeeze by the trees up there? Yeah, there's kind of high tide. It's funny. They put all this sand here where we don't need it, and they didn't put any down there <laughs> where we do need it. kind of screwy? But that's life in the past lane. It's, well, maybe they'll dredge it up from here and move it back that's down there. That's an idea. Yeah, they need extra yeah, work. They'll spend more money. Yeah. Get more money. I, I wonder if it was, my gonna... com if it was my company, that's what I would do. I just get paid to move it up and down the beach. I kind of think that's what's happening already. 
Uh, what? I guess the hose is still out there too. Yeah, yeah the hose is up. still there. They they floated it and then they submerged it. Yeah. I thought it was. I was hoping it would be gone when I came I out here today. I was hoping they tore it away. All right, I'll be back in a little while. Okay, Maybe Rob. you'll get your pension by the time I get back. Hey, how about that? <laughs> well, I did. Uh, got it in the U.S. mails this morning. A lot more data. <laughs> yes. Well, let me know what happens. It's an interesting endeavor. It is crazy. Ma it makes life interesting. Keeps you on your toes. Exactly. It gives you something to do. Makes life very interesting. Eventually, won't it be a great day when I get my first... Uh, it isn't going to be very much either. That's another problem. Well, maybe it'll be um, reciprocate. Recip what, what would the word be? Yeah, they do. Uh, they do it, run it back to the when I first applied. First applied, so you never know. Which I think was about um, 60 or 70 years ago. Well, so. there you go. It could be a nice <laughs> step. <laughs> there you go. Reciprocal. Yeah. Something Just, about that. Yeah. Well, that'd be great. All right. Think of a nice... A nice piece of advice for us today. I got, I got, All right. I got some good Save words. it. Right. Okay. Make everybody hang hang on the edge of their chair here waiting okay. for the advice from the right. You gotta later. proceed with good humor no matter what. It all makes things a lot more fun. Absolutely. Yeah. You got that right. A good laugh. That's good for you. Smiling's good exercise. Yeah. And all right. Even making fun of yourself. Make fun of others and yourself. What the hell? Oh yeah. You have to be able to make fun of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> You're not allowed to make fun of others if you can't make fun of yourself. That's right. That's the rule. Exactly. Boy, it's it it beautiful. The colors out here are just gorgeous this yeah, morning. Yeah, I did. I saw one the other day, Tuesday, we saw them. Oh, really? They had, you know, they were, di yesterday, the Rangers were telling me they were checking out one of the nests that hatched already yeah, yeah they were you know they count all of the eggs that hatched and they open the ones up to see how far they developed that didn't hatch yeah. and they, they picked one up and a little head popped out in his hand one that. hatched right in his hand it, for some that. reason it was a late bloomer <laughs> i had the same experience yeah he, he was so excited the ranger yeah so they released it last night i wish I'd, they'd called me it would have been fun to see that little thing <laughs> That is just amazing. Yeah, I picked one up. No rangers were around or anything, and I didn't think it was illegal. I picked when they were hatching out. I picked up an egg, had it in my hand. He hatched out right in my hand. <laughs> it was really something. Yeah. I put him back. You in. know, Mama's gonna come back and get you for that one. Oh, one day, I, I didn't do anything to him. What'd fact, you do maybe with the him? warmth of my hand helped him maybe. along. Maybe you never know. What'd you do with him? I set him back. Put him in the sand or in the nest. Oh, okay. They crawl out when they're ready and zip, run over. To it the doesn't seat. take them long. <laughs> well, because something. the birds are oh yeah swooping down. The and birds grabbing. are waiting. The raccoons. Crazy. I understand. There's only a one percent survival. Yes, yeah, less than that. It's a point oh one. It's one in a thousand. Oh lord. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's why there's so many of them. Yeah. All right. Hey. You know, what? Great seeing you. Yep, I'll see you in a few minutes. I can't wait for that advice. <laughs> okay, well, we're still looking forward to it. I'll be back in a little while. <laughs> you too, Roy. Oh, that's great. He's got something for us this morning. We are right at high tide here. Oh, probably not going to be much in the way of shelling. Good news is Roy can take his plunge. He doesn't have to swim way out now. There's a couple pelicans out here doing their catching their morning breakfast. They have moved that barge further offshore and they've stopped the dredging for now and the pumping. So hopefully they're done. Hopefully they'll be getting that barge completely out of our sight here soon. That'll be great. You can see the sandbars that are normally exposed when I come out here in the mornings. They're all underwater where those waves are breaking. So I can't walk out there. That's where I found that starfish the other day, the sea star. Let's walk up, walk north here up the beach. Walk up to Wiggins Pass real quick, check that out. 
Roy says there's room to get through up here. So lots of little, lots of little slipper shells. Never a shortage of these little slipper shells on the beach. Always can always find little slipper shells, all different sizes. There's a couple slippers that you can use your imagination. You can see how that looks like a little slipper when you turn it upside down there. The one on the left. Oh, there's a little cockle shell. Well, that's a pretty cockle shell too. That's a nice one over here. Nice manageable size. Got a little chip in it. Nice cockle shell. What is that? The top of a the top of an old lightning whelk right there. You can see the inside of the top of the shell there. It's a piece of an old lightning whelk. Very cool. A little piece of worm rock. Just a little sliver. A lot of times we'll find some really big pieces of this worm rock on the beach. What else is down here? That's an old crusty oyster shell there. Small jewel box shell. Very small jewel box. There's a really old conch shell. You can see right inside that conch shell. Look at that. I think that's kind of neat when you can look inside the shells like that. The old Florida fighting conch. And a little kitten's paw next to it. I always count on finding these little kitten paws, kitten's paws. That's kind of an interesting looking one there. All kinds of great little shells, colorful shells. I've never learned what the names of these are, but you find them all over the beach. These little guys right here. Beautiful morning. Here's a little tiny, a little turkey wing, little baby turkey wing. Look at that oyster shell. Wow. walking up the beach here. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a keeper here. You never know. Maybe a little moon shell. Maybe something small. People always miss the little ones. The big ones are easy to spot. It's those little shells that are that everybody passes by. Boy, it is really warming up now. Beautiful little cockle. Look at these. I wish I knew what the names of these were. They are everywhere, these little shells. Anybody know the name of those? Beautiful. Anybody know the name of those two shells? I see these all the time on the beach. Give you a look around again here. Beautiful. 
partly cloudy. Look at those skies, those, the blue and the white. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful white clouds. 80 degrees right now. Expecting a high of around 90. It's gonna be hot though with the heat index. Feels like 100 down here easily. Here's a, I see a little piece of a moon shell down there. A broken moon shell or shark eye. See, there's the eye right there. What's left of a moon shell? I see a little scallop down there. Broken scallop shell. There's another scallop down here. That's a nice looking one. It's a nice little scallop shell. I think I'll keep that one. Lots of little kitten paw shells out here. Kitten's paws, kitten paw, however you want to say it. Again, it's high tide right now, so not the best time for shelling. Although these waves, this little wave action might bring in some nice little treasures here later today. You never know. So my low tide might be nice today for shelling. what all's down there in this little pile. Nice little ridge of shells here. So far, nothing's jumping out at me here. Just all broken shells. Lots of little clam shells. All of our usual little suspects. That old conch shell, wow. That has seen its day, huh? Look how worn out that shell is. Let's 
if we can get past the trees up here and have a look at Wiggins Pass. Not much beach left here. See how high tide the water comes all the way up to in here. There's actually a lot of shells back up in here. You never know where you're gonna find a little treasure. I know people have found some nice shells up in the trees here. how much beach we've lost up here. Not much of any beach left here. How's the fishing? You catching anything? No, not, yet. not yet? Oh. Morning. Morning. Some young anglers out this morning. Did any of you happen to check out that old beach walk video I posted from oh, several years ago? What a difference in the beach. What a difference in the video. <laughs> There's a big old cockle. Big cockle shell. Big clam shell down there. A piece of coral. Nice olive shells lately. I wonder where all the olive shells went. Well, lots of nice clam shells. I know a lot of people collect these clam shells. There's a lot of them on the beach this morning. Some pretty good size ones too. I know people collect these and use them for little bowls. There's some, this is a broken one, but there's some nice ones around here. I've seen some nice ones this morning. I know our friend Astrid was collecting these. There's a nice one here. So this is the north end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park, Area 5, we call it. This is Area 5, Area 1, being the closest to the entrance. But we've lost a lot of beach in Area 5, as you can see. This is what it looks like at high tide. Not a whole lot of beach here. Looking down to the south. Beautiful out here with the white clouds. The 
blue-green water. Absolutely gorgeous. You're just tuning in. We do have 51 loggerhead sea turtle nests on the beach now. 51 nests. We have had four emergings, four hatching so far. We'll still probably get some more nests on the beach. And the hatchings will start more frequently now. All the beach that got washed away here in front of me. It doesn't take much. Hoping to find a nice shell to hang on the tree here. On one of our shell trees. Maybe there'll be something up at Wiggins Pass. Boy, look at how little beach there is here. Hurricane Irma did this, knocked all these trees down last September. It was beautiful up here. These trees used to overhang into the water. Just love taking pictures up at this end of the park. the north end here. This is Area 5 Beach, Wiggins Pass. On the other side of the pass is Barefoot Beach Preserve. Beach looks pretty clean. Looks like it got scoured of shells. Seeing a whole lot here. Just some bits and pieces. More of those big clam shells down. There's one. I think all the really good stuff is out in the water. Hey, there's a cockle. Does it have a hole in it? Yeah, there you go. I'll hang this on the shell tree. Nice hole there. This would be great for the shell tree. One of our friends asked that I hang a shell in Probably it's going to be in memory of her kid's father, her children's father. So I'll hang this when I pass by the tree. He was doing really bad the other day. She wasn't sure if he was going to make it another day. But I'll hang this for her, well, for him. Hang it for her in memory of him. Oh my gosh. Not quite a whole one. Another, look at that, a crown conch with a big hole in the back. Look at the size of that crown conch. 
What a beautiful shell. What a beautiful, beautiful crown conch. Another great shell for the shell tree. That probably got dredged up from the bottom of Wiggins Pass. That's a crown conch. Nice size one. There's part of a moon shell over here. Just the top of a shark eye shell, another broken shark eye. That's the eye right there. They call these shark eyes or moon shells. That would be the eye right there. The sun's duck, ducked in behind the clouds now. Kind of hard to see things. Another little, little tiny cockle shell. Hey. You too, bye bye. Yeah, there's part of an, a lightning whelk. Probably that's about half of the lightning whelk shell there. There's a couple fishermen out here, that's nice. Probably not catching much of anything out here though. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not a fisherman, so I don't know when the best time to fish is, if the, when the tide's coming in or going out. But right now it's getting ready to change. It still looks like it's coming in, but it's gonna be going out here any minute. Morning. I don't know if they're catching anything. Catching anything? Huh? Catching anything? Uh, no, yeah. What kind? Just Facebook. How are you doing today? Yeah. 
You got one? No. Uh. <laughs> no, good luck. Oh, thank you. Beautiful out here this morning. It looks like the tide is still coming in. But it's due to change direction here any minute now. Let's walk back down the beach and go see our friend Roy. See how he's doing. <clears throat> Excuse me. can't even see the screen right now. The sun is so bright reflecting on the screen. Tiny breeze right now, just a little breeze. Makes all the difference in the world though. It's really warming up out here. Give you another look up up north. Across Wiggins Pass. Lots of broken shells this morning. Seen some broken whelks, a lot of broken whelks. Here's another, there's a piece of a broken whelk shell. Some broken moon shells. Got a crown conch with a big hole in it that I'm gonna hang on the shell tree, also a cockle shell for the shell tree. Roy said he's got something to share with this when I get back. I don't know if it's a joke, if it's some advice, some humor. It's always fun chatting with Roy. So we'll head back and do that. Water looks nice. It's just churned up because of the waves, but it still looks clear. It's great. Absolutely gorgeous. Hopefully Roy won't be out taking his plunge when I get back. Isn't that beautiful the colors.
looking up to the north. Gorgeous. Probably take a picture. I haven't taken any pictures yet this morning. All right, I'm back. Just walking down the beach. Walk down what's left of the beach here. At high tide, we don't have a lot of beach out here. Not much beach to walk on. How's it going? Good. Good morning. Good morning. That's fine. Let's go down to this tree over here. See if we can find a branch to a couple branches to hang some shells. Be around the corner here. We'll get lucky. Oh yeah, there's some good spots here. You know what, I'm gonna hang this big cockle shell right on that branch. That's a great place for that cockle. That's for our friend, I'm sorry I forgot your name, but she said her the, the father of her children, were, he wasn't doing very well. He might not have made it through the night. Asked me to hang his shell for him, and so that's for him. And I have this really, really nice little old crown conch that I found. Let me find a place to hang that. Let's find a little, another little branch. Looking for, looking for a place with some leaves, but this branch looks like it's going to be here for a while. Need to break that off and that off so I can get this shell. But look at this beautiful little crown tom. I'm going to hang that for everybody watching who can't make it to the beach. This shell is for you guys. Let's see, I'll hang it this way. If I can get it, get it through there and down. Ugh. Not wanting to go. Not wanting to get past that one branch there. This'll do it. <laughs> there we go. So there you go. Put it right there. That's a great, great looking little crown conch. Really cool shell. That's for you guys watching that can't make it to the beach. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Bear with me for one second. I'll be right back. I didn't forget you. I'm back. Sorry. I'm back. Sorry about that. can either take a photo or do the video. Sorry, one thing at a time. There was the two shells we hung. All right, 
back down to the beach to check in with our friend Roy. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Up in Area 5 at Del Norwegans Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. Beautiful Thursday morning. High tide right now. That's why there's not much beach up here. That's the tree I just hung the two shells on over there. Beautiful though, isn't it? I'm gonna snap off another photo, hang tight. All right, back again, back again. I won't take any more pictures until I or chat with Roy. Oh, I'm during Tuesday's morning's beach walk. Did you see that in the beginning? That dolphin that I followed up and down the beach in the morning? That was fun. I think the dolphins are gonna be hanging around down at the south end of the park for a while. Until they get this barge out of here, the dredging barge. Hopefully they're done dredging and hopefully it's going to be gone soon. I haven't seen our friends Scott and Linda out here in a while. I don't know what they're doing. Hope everything's okay. I know I saw they made it out to Sunset. I saw some pictures of them and their with Scott's daughter out here for Sunset. But I haven't seen them out here in the mornings lately. I miss my buddies, my beach buddies. Not a whole lot of beach right here. Sun's popping in and out of the clouds here this morning. See some of the colors of the water, the greens. That sun when it pops out. Area 4 beach, looking south. There's about a mile of beach here at Del Norwegans. Sometimes it's kind of hard to find at high tide. The nice thing about this is there's no homes or condos along the beach at the park. It's all unspoiled. And for the most part, the state just lets Mother Nature run her course here. That's why the beach is always changing shape and size. I love coming out here though, just absolutely beautiful. Early in the morning, 
it's pretty it's relatively quiet all day long here in the summertime in the winter time that's a different story when all of our friends from up north come down all of the snowbirds Roy over here, 93 years old. He's going to be turning 94 in December, December 20th. And I always, we always have a little party here for him at the beach, and everybody's invited to join us. Captain Roy. Our little slipper shells there. See how it looks like a slipper when you flip it over? Slipper shell. These are fairly common on the beach, the slippers. Also little scallop shells. There's a broken one. You find all different types of scallops, all different sizes here. This morning the shelling wasn't that great, being high tide. Low tide's usually the best time for the shelling. Little cockle shell over here. That's like the shell that I hung on the shell tree, the cockle shell. Yep, there's the two slipper shells I picked up earlier on my way up the beach this morning. Slipper shells. See if you use your imagination, that looks like a slipper, doesn't it? Other common shells here are the kitten's paws. There's a couple little kitten's paws. Those are fairly common here. All of our cat lover friends love these little shells. Out into the Gulf and up the beach before we I move over there and chat with Roy walk over and say hi to him we already talked to Roy once this morning but he said he's got something to share with us we never know if it's gonna be a joke if it's gonna be funny if it's gonna be some serious advice some words of wisdom a word of the day we never know one thing we can always count on with Roy though is he's got a smile on his face for us so we're gonna go over there and see that. I don't know what's going on with the ospreys here. We have an osprey nest. I have not seen them in the nest. It's up. Let me see if I can show it to you here. Walk over. It's up in this center of this tree here. I have not seen them up there lately. I don't know if they had my Somebody interrupting us with a phone call. Sorry about that, but see the nest up in the top of the tree? I don't see any activity up there. I think they might have moved on. I meant to ask, I'm gonna ask Roy about that, see if he knows anything about it. That's right above where Roy sits here in area four. Look at that sky, is that not gorgeous up there? A beautiful blue sky. Wow. There's Daddy O sitting out there on the beach. Sneak up behind him. Hey, Rob, what's cooking, man? Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? 
Well, I'm just enjoying the scene. A little breeze came up. Yeah, makes does it, that feel good? That makes breeze? it very, very comfortable and pleasant. What's going on with those osprey up there? Did they leave? I haven't heard them. They must have shoved off. I don't know if they had any babies or not. Did you see any? Never did hear any peep, peep, peeps. No peeps, huh? <laughs> no peeps out of the little peepers. Yeah, boy, beautiful. I love that breeze. Is it not? It is gorgeous here. I love the colors, the blues and the oh, greens. Oh, it's just out of this world. Little white clouds peeping yeah. up. Man. Isn't that nice? Oh, what a paradise. I love the sky with the clouds. I like the blue sky. I mean, I love it all, but I like it more when there's some clouds out oh, there. Oh, yeah. Makes it interesting. There's mm -hmm. still enough blue. <laughs> you can imagine all kinds of things when you look at those clouds. Yeah. That's for sure. And then the sun, early sun, touches the tips of them, makes them turn white. Isn't that beautiful white? when yeah. they glow like that? Oh, gorgeous. That was sunrise this morning. Well, I, I had office work to do, so, oh, so I was a little late it. for it. But I don't think there was a lot of color. No. I hope I didn't miss anything. <laughs> well, there's always tomorrow. Yeah. Well, so you said you had something to share with us. Well, just kind of interesting little... Uh, uh, Rhythmic, uh, rhyming words. Oh, okay. Well, you gotta do your best with lots of zest, and good Lord is providing the rest, and we're richly, richly blessed. And then God says, be my guest, and I'll bring you eternal rest. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> eternal rest. I want eternal life. <laughs> well, yeah, eternal life is good with a little rest thrown in. In between there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good. So that's the word zest. <laughs> with Live your word. life with lots do, of zest. Do your best with lots of with zest. lots of zest. I love it. And God provides the rest, and we're richly, richly blessed. And he opens the heavens and says, Please be my guest. I'll bring you eternal rest. All right. So did you make that up? Yeah. Is that a royism? Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's in, that'll be going Just into a the bunch next of book. words. They aren't really big words. Well, you need to write it down so you don't forget it. Oh, I think I'll remember. That'll it. go into another book. Ask me in 20 years, and I'll. I think I can come up. When with you it. get your your uh, pension check. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, in we'll 20 celebrate. Years. <laughs> We'll go out for lunch at the old flatbread restaurant. I was I was talking to my daughter about that. She works for the VA, and she has no idea why you're getting the runaround. Well, they just need more documentation. Now, now what they need is verification of the documentation. <laughs> Stupid. That's important. The person that provided the funds have to verify that they really did. And yeah. when they cease providing, that has to be all verified. That's why our government's broke, because all is nonsense. Well, I I hate to admit it, but if I was in their shoes, I'd desire that too. Otherwise, a person could give them a whole bunch of airsoft data. <laughs> it has to be verified. I agree. It's just yeah, but how much? You said you've been working on this six years. Oh, well, probably more than that. Yeah, it doesn't take that long. Well, you know, they, they denied it endlessly, but then I reapplied endlessly. That's how it goes. <laughs> You're not going to let them off the hook, are you? Well, things keep changing in my life, so I'm more eligible than I, than I was before. I was ineligible for various reasons, but yeah. now my income has changed, and et cetera. Net worth has changed. So well, I hope that works out. So, you know, it's all part of life, part of the, part of the journey. It is. That journey. What a journey, huh? Oh, glorious journey. There's all kinds of interesting aspects to it. It's fun. That's glorious. It can be huh? like a roller coaster sometimes. Absolutely glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, the sun keeps hiding behind the clouds here on us. Well, I, I enjoy that. It's kind of nice when it's... It is. It's really cools cloudy. off when the sun goes behind them. Yeah. And that breeze is starting to pick up now. Oh, I love it. It'll perk up Feels more like and more. It's coming in off the Just gulf. like yesterday, it started to blow pretty good. Yeah, we didn't get any big rainstorms yesterday. No. A day without a big storm. Oh, I told you about the uh, about the uh, rainbow I had, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. man, I love rainbows. Well, the, the one the other morning? Yeah. But, yeah, out there, that sliver yeah. or what? Yeah, piece it's going to be my... Yeah. 
My one of my next books is Rainbows Around the World. Rainbows and beaches. Rainbows around the world. You should do one rainbows and flowers together. That's an idea, but I'd rather write two books. No. Rainbows and flowers. And music. <laughs> and dancing. <laughs> Can't beat all those wonderful things. Oh, boy. Have you had any dances out on the beach lately? No, I haven't pranced too much. I'll have to give that yeah. a try. I know there was a couple. I saw you out here a few times with some pretty ladies dancing. Singing That's up the storm fun. and dancing. That's I guess you'll be dancing fun. next week when Jennifer's birthday, at Jennifer's birthday Oh, party. yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that'll be a blast. Did Tom call you? Uh, yeah, yeah, well, I talked to Carrie. Yeah, I talked to Tom, too. Tom called. Yep, that's I, right. I told him to give you a holler there. Yeah, I, that's what he said, so yep. that's great. I was working, but I I just shot him a quick message, a text message. and said, Are you going to be able like, to make Audrey's birthday? It's a Sunday. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best there. Hey, it's, good. It's out. It's, it's in the afternoon now. I thought you were gonna do it in the morning. Well, we're around noonish. Yeah, that's that. The day's over at noon. <laughs> well, that's when everybody can make it. You know, they yeah. have some chow. You don't want to eat chow in the morning. You don't eat chow in the morning. I mean, you don't want to have a birth, a cake, and all the wonderful things on the grill. That's more yep. like lunch. All that, or late lunch, or whatever. Yeah. Early dinner. You're going to have a picnic. Yeah, a picnic. What all are you going to have? Oh, I got a bunch of goodies. Uh, come on to the party and you'll find oh, out. Oh, no, you got to tell everybody what's going to be here. Well, Give us I'll a tell hint. You. Don't tell us everything. I'll tell you precisely. There's going to be a lot of yummy, yummy <laughs> chow. And it's going to be off the grill and, and it will be delicious. Some gri you do some grilling? That will be great. I rather think so, yeah. I hope there's going to be a birthday cake. Oh, I think that would be in order, yes. <laughs> There's no guarantees about every anything until you get there. There you go. And what's the admission? Well, you know, uh, I, I think I'll make it free. You're going to make it free? Well, no, you have to give a... If you're a female, you give a hugger. I was wondering about that. If you're a man, a good ha high handshake would probably qualify. There you go. So, ladies, it's going to cost you a hug to come to Jennifer's birthday party. On Sunday the 29th. If a man, then you then you hug Jennifer. That works out. There you go. Jennifer yeah. gets a hug. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you got to get the hugs in there one way or the other. That's for sure. God bless. <laughs> All right. Well, off to work. Don't you work too hard out here. How's that? Well, in the afternoon, I got a lot of office work yeah. to take care of. Yeah. Well, so, how's your work going? All right. All right. Got good. Good little things going. You know, if you... Take your plunge now. You don't have to go out very far. That water's kind of deep right here. Yeah, well, I head out past all those sandbars and go on out where I can take a good swim without hitting my foot on the bottom. Yeah. You got to watch out for those rocks. A lot of rocks in places out there. Yeah, I kind of weave around. I got a, I got a little system. I weave around the sandbars and finally get out to the deep water. So have you gotten some more orders for your books over the past couple days? Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. They're gradually they just, selling. They more just and kind more. of trickle in, huh? That's yeah. great. Yeah, that's that kind is of awesome. Fun. That it's is good. It's been news. a lot of fun. Good. So if I can figure out how to get the pictures for the next book, that's a big question. Yeah. How I get the pictures of all the beautiful flowers? <clears throat> you have a have a photo contest, and people send you pictures and from their the gardens. And pictures of the, all the rainbows. That's the hard one. That's the hard one, the rainbows. Yeah. So once I get that worked out, why the book will be uh, easy to to compile. It's the pictures that are the problem. Yeah. All right. Well, you have a good day. Good. All right. Always great chatting yeah, with you. Same here, Roy. Great seeing Thanks you. Thanks for the little the little rhyme. <laughs> Don't forget, lots of zest while you're doing your best. Lots of zest while you're doing your best. <laughs> All right, Roy. You have a great morning. You too. Enjoy your plunge. As always, take care. Tally ho. Tally ho. God bless. Always fun chatting with Roy. Always fun seeing our friend Roy. 
Yeah, the sun is just playing peekaboo with us this morning. It's in and out. Beautiful morning though. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful Thursday morning. The tide is starting to go out now. When I started my walk at around 7.30, we were just at full high tide. Now it's just starting to go out. And as that tide goes out, that's when the shelling usually gets better. All the shells that these waves have kind of brought in will get exposed as the tide goes out. Some great news, we got 51, 51 loggerhead sea turtle nest on this one mile stretch of beach here, which is Del Norwegian's Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. 51 loggerhead sea turtle nests. We have had four emergings or hatchings. <clears throat> We're gonna start having more and more hatchings now as time goes on. Now, there's an old worn out fighting conch shell. Boy, that is an old shell right there. You find lots of nice fighting conch shells out in the water. And if you're not careful, you're gonna find a live one. You don't want to take anything alive home from the beach, especially a fighting conch. If you put a live fighting conch in your pocket by accident, you're gonna get a rude awakening. <laughs> They're feisty little critters. They have a sharp little foot that they'll poke you with. Well, the sandbar is just starting to show itself now out here. Wow, the high tide swept it clean out here. The last time I walked out there, I found a sea star on top of it. A live sea star, a nine-armed sea star up on the sandbar. I don't see anything out there now. Those waves are still washing over the top, washing everything off of it. I still enjoy walking out here. This water is gorgeous out here. See how clear it is? Everything, it looks like everything has been washed off the top of this sandbar. Another couple hours as more and more of this sandbar gets exposed here. You'll start to see a lot of seabirds will come out and just kind of hang out here. Get a great view of the beach from out here on this sandbar. That mile long stretch of beach in Del Nor Wiggins. Right under those trees. Whoop, did you see a pelican dive into the water? There's two pelicans flying by. Are they gonna dive down? Look at that. That's neat. Here comes another one, see if he dives down into the water. They get up high, there he goes. Look at that, isn't that neat? They get up high, spot a fish and just dive right down into the water. That is so cool. It's fun watching them. This water's kind of deep right now being high tide. It's probably oh, up to your waist at least. Usually it's about ankle deep. All out in this little area in front of me. As I was saying, as I was panning around here, those trees over there, that's where I was chatting with Roy. He's up on the beach right over there. That's where he hangs out in Area 4 Beach. Bear with me while I snap off a quick photo. All right, I'm, I'm back here. Sorry about that. 
looking north up towards Bonita Springs. I don't see anything out here on the sandbar yet. That tide's still pretty strong. Kind of washing over the top of the sandbar right now. Nice little waves breaking out here. It's probably worth a little photo here. Beautiful colors though, beautiful blues and greens. Absolutely gorgeous. Great look south, is it? Beautiful view down the beach. There are two pelicans sitting there. on a fish to swim by. Open something big will swim by for me. And there they go. You gonna dive? Yep. <clears throat> See if they come back. comes one, see if he goes up and does a dive. Nope. Boom. <laughs> that was neat. Just off the edge of the sandbar is where he dove. That was pretty cool. That's some Puffy clouds rolling in here now, blocking out the sun. Head back to dry land here. One more look out into the gulf and up to the north. Beautiful. Well, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful Thursday. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take the time to check out all of my photos and videos here on Facebook. Hopefully you'll find something you like. When you do, hit that share button. Remember, I'll post a link to this video on YouTube. You'll, I'll post the link here. You can watch this whole entire video on YouTube in a little higher quality. Share that with your friends too. Hit the like button on YouTube. Well, have a wonderful day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.